Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with uh, another Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseball Break. This is break number 26. You can see the next one is already in the store. One spot gets you nine players. Remember, there's one spot that also has any and all multi-signed autographed baseballs. Now, big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Now let's multiply that by nine. There's one already, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. You can see there's going to be 171 on each randomizer list. So let's get your names first. Well, that was the original 19, but let's delete that. There we go. Now there's the whole big list there. Let's grab all the player names. Put them into this list right here, and then we'll roll the dice and put the results of the randomizer in there. Good luck. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a five. Five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Jake all the way down to Jake. Five and a four, nine times for the players. One, two, three, four. Eight and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Mr. Mike Trout on top down to Yohan Mankata. All right, so I'm going to show you the list just as is, just to get this on the uh, on the video on the recording. Just get it on wax, as they say back in the day. And then I'll show you the, uh, and then I'll alphabetize by your first names, just so you can see all of your players grouped together. So thanks everyone for making this happen. There's the rest of the list right there. Now let's sort by column A. So Brian, there are your groups of players right there. Oh, and one more. There you go. Brian B, Brian C, Last Spot Mojo. Nice, good group of players. Eugene. All the way down to there. There are your players from Walker Bueller through Jonathan India. Jake has a lot of players. There's your first group right there, Jake. And of course, you can pause the video. You can pause the live stream just to catch up on some of your names if you need to. If, but if you do, just remember to make sure you go back live. Otherwise, you'll be lagging behind. Don't want that to happen. You want to be at the current point of the stream. There's Jeremy Port. You don't want to miss uh, trade windows. Ooh, Jeremy also has the any and all multi-sign baseballs. You don't want to miss trade windows. You don't want to miss you know, stuff that you need to be at the current point of the stream. Conversation. Right, and then there's, there's the rest, Jeremy, Josh. There's your group of players right there. And last but certainly not least, Oliver and his group of players. There you go. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so the list from the previous uh, little bit remains the same. Now let's pop these open and get your thinking caps on because we'll play America's favorite game, Who Am I? where I give you the clues and you try to guess the player. Unless it's some multi-autograph ball, then, you know, then you'll know right away. All right. This is a retired baseball player, retired outfielder. Retired center fielder, switch hitter, throws right, played for one team my entire career. Lifetime 297 batting average, 2,336 hits, 287 home runs, 1,257 runs batted in. A five-time All-Star, a four-time World Series champion, an ALCS MVP, a four-time Gold Glover, a Silver Slugger, an AL batting champion, and my number retired by this team.
those are those are your initial clues. Nice car chart. It is indeed Bernie Williams. What gave it away? Like a switch hitting center fielder who's won four World Series. I guess that, I guess that makes sense. And played for one team. There's tons of inscriptions here too. That's cool. Look at that. So first of all, you get your Fanatics and MLB signature right here. You got four-time World Series champion, five-time All-Star, batting champ. I mean, basically, he took the uh, the Wikipedia accolades and just put them right on there. That was going to be my second set of clues, Mike. So that's for Jake. Good guess, Jake. Is this, uh, is he saying this is only ball nine out of 51? Might be hand, hand number as well. So yeah, he's great. My second set of clues would have been going through all the music stuff. That would have really, really uh, made it easy for everybody, but there you go, Jake. All right, next baseball. Got another three ball break in the store right now if you wanna get another one of these going and play a little trivia for bragging rights. All right. Another retired player. Um, kind of in the same Bernie Williams era. Played for two teams my entire career. A, a right-handed pitcher. But apparently he batted left-handed. I don't think I've ever seen him bat because he played for two AL teams. Had a lifetime 270 win, 270 wins to 153 losses. A lifetime 368 ERA. Almost got 3,000 strikeouts. He has 2,813. Um, strike. He's five all-star appearances, seven gold gloves was an MLB wins leader with his first team, and was a sixth, sixth ballot Hall of Famer with 76.7% of the vote. He got in a few years ago, back in 2019, which might give that away. Who am I? And who is gonna get this? Not Andy Pettit, he played from two, uh, 1991 to 2008. He, yeah, there you go, David. I was gonna say he played for Baltimore, then the Yankees, David's got it, Moose, Mike Mussina. There you go, on a Hall of Fame baseball, nice. I was there last summer, really nice part of the world, Cooperstown. Here you got the HOF inscription, Got all the information right here. I wonder if that uh, MLB, if you go to MLB.com slash authentication, you can punch in those letters and numbers. And uh, I wonder if he signed it during induction day. I think it's JD836574. I'm gonna look. Oh, not authenticate. Authentication, MLB.com slash authentication. Yes, there we go. Let's 
see. JD836. 836574. I'm not a robot. Authenticate. Mike Mussina, no, did not sign it at during induction day. He said, it just says Mike Mussina dash fanatics date November 20th, 2019. So the year he got uh, his Hall of Fame induction, but but in November, later on, maybe at a signing event or at the specifically for future products like this. Brian Croft gets that. I wish it was. If it was like July or whenever they do it, July or August or whatever, I would have been like, hey, maybe he did it while he was in Cooperstown. But whenever you see those MLB uh, logos, it's always worth looking looking it up, especially if it's like a game-worn jersey and like a future group break or something like that. It's really cool. We've, we've looked some up and we've seen some, uh, not all the time, but we've seen some pretty cool stuff where it's like, oh, this guy hit for the cycle that day, or. All right. Another retired player. Older school guy, he's currently 71 years old and played between 1972 to 1994, a really long career. Um, Right-handed pitcher. Had 124 wins to 107 losses, a 301 ERA, 1,500 strikeouts in his career, 310 saves. So if you know your saves list, then you'll know. A nine-time All-Star, a World Series champion, three-time AL saves leader, and a ninth ballot Hall of Famer with 85.8% of the vote. Played for a lot of teams. White Sox, Pirates, Yankees, Padres, Cubs, Giants, Yankees, a Japanese team, the Fuka, Fu, Fukuoka Dai Hawks back in 1990, came back to the States, Texas, Oakland for a couple years, and spent a season with the, uh, with the Mariners in his last year of his career. And apparently he, uh, according to Wikipedia, a pioneer of the closer role. Not Lee Smith. And he retired to Colorado Springs, Colorado. His son Todd is a professional baseball player. Played for um, some semi-pro teams here. Got a plaque in Monument Park. Yep, Haley's got it. Goose Gossage. All right, so there's your Fanatics and MLB hologram sticker. Great penmanship from Goose on a Hall of Fame baseball. Little inscription right there. And who's going to get the Goose? Goose Gossage, Jake Smith. Goose Gossage. There you go, gang. Another three ball break in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.